here we go. Three creepy true horror stories with photos. When I was a young girl, my family and I moved to Kentucky because my father was in the army. This is our second time moving in four years. Yeah, yeah that's our rough. Day getting to our new house, and the movers got there the same time we did. I also remember my two sisters and I running around the house, and then we went into our rooms. I explored the room and I went into the closet where there was something on the top shelf. So I grabbed it. And it was a Ouija board. Of course. My sisters Why is and that I all Ouija looked board? at each other, and we decided to play it later that night after the movers left. Eventually, the movers left, and we were all relaxing in our rooms. So my two sisters mentioned the Ouija board because I forgot all about it. We had a few boxes in our room because we were all still unpacking. So we formed a circle around us with the boxes, turned out the lights, and my older sister, who was 12 at the time, she lit a few candles. We set the board up and began to ask We're all doing too much for this shit. We immediately I mean, I know it's bullshit. Like that. And I could tell that my Game. sisters weren't messing around. Being that we could tell I that this was serious, we all asked the question. Just in case. It was the same question. My oldest sister asked, Why are you here? The planchette slid over to H E R and it spelled her. Then my other sister her. asked the same I wish, like, some of these stories were, because they always ask, Why are you here? I wish, like, the ghost would say, uh, Like, I'm really getting tired of that question. And it just flipped the board, <laughs> like, send the board flying into the sea. Like, you know why I'm here. I'm here to fuck shit up. Good question. <laughs> why are you here? The planchette slid to H-E-R. That also spelled her. her. And then I asked. Why are you here? But the planchette didn't move. I looked at my sisters and I complained that they moved it when they asked the question. They claimed that they didn't. Oh, then we sat there in silence waiting for it to move. Then all of a sudden we hear, yo. But it was like someone whispered in my right ear very loudly. We all stood up and backed up against the wall. Then all of a sudden the bedroom door flew open mm -hmm. and we all screamed. Pissed, pissed it off. Standing in the doorway was my mother. Oh, it's just fucking with She you. looked down at the board and began to yell at us. <laughs> she picked the board up and threw it in the trash that was outside. Should have burned it. So we went to bed, but I freaked out about that voice. The next day, as we continued to unpack, I forgot all about what happened, but my back began to hurt a lot. Oh, you had a scratch. My mother asked me to help her bring this new painting into the house. It had some weird lady on it. We had to put it above the fireplace. Once we put it up, I noticed that it looked like the lady in the painting's eyes followed me. But anyways, my back kept hurting. Nah, you just paranoid. It getting worse day by day. It literally felt like someone was on my shoulders. So I told my mother how I felt. So she took what is this like a, a male hitting field. ghost? Surprisingly, it said 200 pounds. At that time, I was 10 years old. And I was definitely small, so there's no way I was 200 pounds. I was weighed on multiple scales, and they all said the same thing, but no one could understand why. I can remember getting home that afternoon, and I took a nap. That ghost sitting on your damn shoulders? I was really having nightmares every night ever since we used that Ouija board. My older sister said it was because of the Ouija board. And I'm having nightmares because I'm the one that found the Ouija board. So my grandparents came to visit us. My grandmother is very weird. And she's a psychic. And when she it's walked very in, weird. she went from smiling immediately to frowning. She hugged my parents and sisters. Then she approached me and stopped in her tracks. Should I that? What's, what's that shit on your shoulder? My mother's ears. And she looked worried. Then my grandmother hugged me with one arm yeah, that and boy, told me that I should go sit down somewhere. That boy possessed. But she was worried about me. My mother told her that she caught us playing with a Ouija board and my grandmother asked her that we close the session. And my mother was confused. My grandmother then explained it to her that you have to close the session and then asked my mother has anything weird been happening ever since then. She told her about the doctor's office and how my weight just skyrocketed but there's no way that I can weigh that much. Then my grandmother proceeds to explain to my parents and I that being that the session wasn't closed, a spirit was attached to me 
literally. When she walked in the house, she saw the spirit. It was literally on my shoulders and my back. And that's why the weight scales were so much. I was freaked out and I started to panic. Hmm. My grandmother so told me ghosts can actually some kind of seance, change your weight all the on the scale. On my back and shoulders was gone. But my grandmother said since the Ouija board was thrown out, that means the session can't be closed, which means that the spirit will always be out there. Immediately following what she did, she took a picture outside of my bedroom, but she asked me multiple times, was I sure that I would Yeah, but a Ouija board is a toy. And this is the picture that she took. I was way more freaked out after she showed me this. But we haven't had any problems ever since. I have a story so I say don't fuck with shit my name is Iman comprehend my family moved to Kentucky in 2009 because of my parents and they had new jobs our trip was 12 hours long and the whole time my mother kept well, I like that the porch. fact that my father got this big house for a great deal but she doesn't know how he just kept saying that him. he was a smooth talker once we got there my sister and I were so amazed with how big the house was as we began to unpack, we heard someone ring the doorbell. My sister and I ran downstairs as my mother opened the door. We saw that it was a few of our neighbors with their kids, who were also girls. We began to speak with the kids as our mothers spoke with the other moms. Then one of the girls said that they used to play at the house with the little girl that used to live there. Then she asked, Did you hear about what happened here? Oh boy. Everyone immediately stopped speaking, <laughs> including the mothers. And they all looked at us, and they looked at the other girls. My mom looked confused. Did you hear about what somebody who was said, horribly dismembered uh, in this house? We have to go. I have to go um, pet the dog. And she grabbed her daughter, and they all left. I have to go pet the dog. Immediately that night, we would hear random sounds throughout the house. But we didn't think anything of it. But as time went on, we would all complain about seeing stuff out the corner of our eyes. But when we would turn to see what it was... Whatever we thought we saw was gone. There were a few times that all of us would complain about hearing little kids laughing. So one day, my mother finally told my father about what the girl next door said. And he looked as if he knew something. He was acting Dead suspicious full of and finally shit. told my mother why we got the house so cheap. We didn't hear him, but he whispered it to her. I asked my mother what happened, but she would never tell me the details. All she would say is, Something bad happened, man. It involved a young girl. She wasn't a good girl. And that's all she would tell mm. me. So one day my father installed motion She was bad. She house. deserved everything she got. Every room had the lights installed, so we didn't have to use light switches anymore. One night, everyone in my house was asleep but me. And I heard some laughing. I was sitting in the living room, so I thought it might be my little sister. But something told me it wasn't her because it was 2 a.m. And she wouldn't be playing that late. Then I heard it again. So I like to explain where I was sitting. You can see all the way down the other end of the house, down this hallway. But I was in our living room. So I'm sitting downstairs in the darkness of our living room. And out of the corner of my eye, one of the motion sensor lights came on in the hallway, at the other end of the hallway. And then it went off. Then another one in the hallway came on that was actually closer. And that's when I looked down the hallway. Then that light went off, and the next light came on. It was getting closer. Mm -hmm. This so, was happening as if someone was walking down the uh, hallway. Like, and then that lights light out, shit. At that point, I muted my TV, stared down the dark hallway, and out of nowhere, the light in the living room came on. <laughs> the cat looked like, what the, the, on the floor. fuck is that? I jumped back, I grabbed my phone, and immediately took a photo of where the blanket and the couch were. I looked at my phone, and this is what I saw. I do not think to take a picture like that. That's it looked like a young shit. girl. I started to scream and I ran out of there so fast to my parents' room and I told them. They Why did they look like damn like picture? That's all the proof they need. Like pajamas. This spooked my parents so much that we moved out. That's the same TV stand I had. Not even for the in my first though. apartment. It looked that exactly the like that. In my life.
grew up with my grandmother. I lived with her most of my life. And her house always freaked me out because weird things happened. It's not like the house was old. No one had ever lived there previously, and it wasn't the typical scary house you think of when you think of a haunted house. I have my theories, but that's like I love time, these I out of focus Anyways, um, shots. Everyone in my family who stayed there has their own stories of things they've seen or heard, including myself. You're like, is this some there? Is it not? I can't tell. Hearing it's out of focus. outside of my door in the middle of the night, hearing someone in the master bedroom walking around and turning the sink on when I was the only one home. When I was young, mm -hmm. I was sneaking downstairs. Like a water wasting ass goat. I turned the corner to go downstairs and saw a little girl sitting on a big box we had at the bottom of the stairs, seeing figures of people on the walls moving around, and the list goes on. These things happened throughout my life and were spaced out occurrences, so I tried to just ignore it all the best I could. But what I experienced when my grandma was dying were some of the most intense things I've ever witnessed. My grandma had breast cancer. Eventually, mm. it spread throughout her body. Damn. And she lost the battle. They put her on hospice, and we set her up in the living room for her to stay in so we could take care of her. The last week of her life is when things really started to get, you could say, weird. I would be sitting on the couch next to her bed and see people in the corner of my eye walking past the doorway in the hallway. The Grim Reaper. Even when it was just me and her in the house. And when other people were there, they saw it too. There were times she would be looking up to the ceiling or at the walls and smile like she was looking at someone she knew. Another time, my whole family was on the couch just being there with her. And the light in the room went out. And my grandma smiled and said, It'll come back on. And right when she said that, it did. While these occurrences were starting to happen frequently. But then the last few days of her life, she started declining more. So we bought a baby monitor with a camera to watch her when we weren't in the room to make sure that she didn't try to leave the bed. She kept trying to do things on her mm. own and she would fall. Sound like my grandma. And one night, my sister and I were upstairs in her bedroom talking and we looked at the monitor screen and I instantly started crying from what I saw. It's hard to describe what we saw. The only thing that comes close to what it looked like was a mix of a gremlin and a goblin. We watched it jump on her bed. She was asleep, but it seemed like she knew that it was there because she made a movement with her hand, like she was hitting it away. When she did that, it left. My sister went downstairs to check on her. Hmm. She was still sleeping and nothing was there. It was one of the scariest things I've ever seen in my life. And even after six years, just the thought of it makes the hair on my arm stand up. And my eyes begin to tear up. It's not just because how scary it looked, but because the way it made me feel. Even through the monitor, you could feel its presence and you could feel it was not good whatever it was the next night my sister and i were back up in the bedroom watching a movie and my sister looked at the monitor and studied it for a second and told me to look at it which after what i had already witnessed i was terrified to even look but i did and as clear as day you could see a head behind my grandma which looked like how she looked at the time you know bald and sick so we took a picture of the monitor screen this time and we zoomed in to see what it was. And we noticed that there was a head, but above that head was my uncle's face. Mm -hmm. You could see his features. You could recognize it as him if you knew him. He was my grandma's son who died a few years back from cancer. While I don't really believe in God, and I'm not sure where I stand in the afterlife, even after all my experiences, it was a feeling of relief seeing this after the horror I saw the night before. Almost like him saying, it's okay, I got her. I have no idea what this head was behind <clears> her. <throat> My sister thinks it could be her starting to leave her body. It did look like it was her, just watching her body laying there. A couple days later, she passed away. That'd be interesting to see, like, like if that were true, or when you get closer and closer to your death, your, your past relatives come to kind of see you off, you know, like help you into the next life, you know, like, I don't know if it's like, maybe if you don't see it, maybe you're going to another place, you know, or maybe the one, the relatives that are in the other place help you to that place. <laughs> or, 
Or maybe they don't. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Like, oh, you getting close to death. Like, if that we were, that was a true thing that we actually knew. And when you get close to death, if you see relatives, like, kind of around you, trying to comfort you, waiting for you to die. Oh, I'm going to heaven. But then if you don't see any, and you're getting close to death, you're like, oh, shit. Either I'm not close to death, I'm just really sick, or old, or whatever, or I'm going to another place, <laughs> a very bad place. <laughs> For the next month, we stayed there to pack up her house, and we sold it. While there were some weird experiences from time to time, that was pretty normal for that house. And it seemed like all the insane activity that occurred while she was dying had left with her. But I'll never forget the things I saw in that house during that time. Even as I'm writing all of this, I get the goosebumps. I do have a picture we took of the monitor. It's pretty unsettling and shows my grandma too, so I'm not sure it should post unless I'm able to cover it. In which I did. Here's the photo that I took of my grandma. Oh, I was like, is that it? I mean, this is so... This, the resolution is horrible. It's kind of hard to tell what anything is. Well, I mean, I mean, like we've seen pictures of different things that are paranormal phenomena. We've seen videos. I've seen videos where there was like screaming in a like hotel room, and then you saw like some type of blurred like body shaped image come out of it, and you're like, what the fuck was that? And then the screaming stopped. You're like, oh, somebody died in there years ago. You never know, especially stuff nowadays, because anything can be like like the, the, the way technology is now. People can just make up any type of shit. And you're like, is that real? Is that fake? You don't know. Like, you're just like, oh, wait, well, I guess it could be real. It could be fake. You, know, you, you don't really know. But like that would be, like I said before, that would be interesting. If that was how things worked, like mean, when you're getting close to death and relatives or relatives or friends or anyone, I wonder if anyone who was just close to you um, comes to comfort you. So, but I guess if you didn't have any friends or you weren't close to anybody, they wouldn't come. I mean, I guess your mom would come or dead siblings like if they pass before you um like they would come you know if it's if it's like kind of like an obligation like hey go down there and you know see your child or brother or sister you know into the afterlife you know like, you know but if, <laughs> i just think like if you don't like if you don't see anything, you're like, oh shit. I'm going. I'm going to the other place. <laughs> I'm going to Haiti. <laughs> you I guess you if you knew that ahead of time, you're like, well, I guess I'll make peace with this now. Like I said, unless you didn't have anybody you were close to, and so no one comes to see you off. But then you're like, okay, well maybe angels would come out. Unless they don't them old school like I guess it's based on your religion like them biblical angels where they look like monsters like I'd be like nah I'm good (laughs) 
it was, so he just gave me the lily white angels <laughs> like they do in Bibles now. <laughs> With long blonde hair <laughs> and bird wings, like giant bird wings. Just give me, give me in white robes <laughs> or naked. <laughs> It would be a black angel like, no, I don't want no forced diversity. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed my reaction. And what if you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below. Make sure to subscribe if you're here. Hit that bell if you're notified of the videos. Comment down below. Share this video. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.